Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to map a drive to one of your virtual disks on one of your VMs. And what I mean by that is, so you have your host system which is running VMware Workstation and you want to map a drive on your host to one of your VMs so you, so you could access that drive on the VM without having to start up the VM and then, you know, browse to the f files and then have to find a way to copy them over and so on. So the way you do that is, first of all, I'm going to have this VM that's running and I made a folder called shared folder for demonstrations. So the catch is you have to have the VM powered off, otherwise you're going to get an error when you try and map the drive to it. So there's actually two ways you could do it, which I'm going to show you. All right, so I have the shared folder. Just want to show you that. So now I'm going to shut down this VM. Okay, so the virtual machines finally shut down after some serious Windows updates. So Back in our manager here, we're going to go to File, Map Virtual Disks, and click on Map. And then we need to browse to the VMDK file that goes along with this Windows 10 Pro virtual machine. So here's my location where you have your VMDK file stored. You're going to need to know this, obviously. So there's my VMDK file for Windows 10 Pro 2. Matches that. So we'll open that. And then you're going to need to pick the partition that you want to use. So obviously it's going to be the biggest one here. It's going to have Windows and all my stuff on it there. And then you could leave the default, have it open in read-only mode. Or if you want to change stuff, you could uncheck it. Pick an available drive letter. I'll pick Z so it stands out. And then you could have it automatically open Windows Explorer after you map it. So we'll click OK. So here's our mapped Z drive. And here's that shared folder that we made right there. So now we could just kind of browse through the file system for this virtual machine and do what we need to do. So that's pretty neat. So now I'm going to go back here, disconnect it. Oh, I have it open. Uh, let's see if I could do this the right way here. Okay. Click on close. So now another way you could map your VMDK file is, like I said, go back to where you have the uh, VMDK file for that virtual machine in your host computer. Find the VMDK, right click on it, and then you should have an option for map first volume. So it's picking Z probably because that's what I chose last time. So we could click on that read only, or we could click on map virtual disk. And then it's going to bring up the same wizard. So you could either have it do this or you could pick a different drive. Or you could just right click on it and have it pick it for you and read only. Just do it real quick. And there we go. There's the Z drive again. But you notice here it didn't pick the right partition. So we're going to disconnect that. So if you have multiple partitions you're probably going to want to do it the other way. Let's just force that this time. Okay, so go back into our files here. So now we'll try it the other way since we found out that does not work. So like I said, if you just pick this default, you have more than one partition, you don't know what it's going to map. So we're going to do that way. And then we'll make sure we pick this one here whatever drive letter. Let's pick a different one. Let's pick a Y this time and click OK. So now we have Y drive and there's the proper file. So anyway, so like I said, make sure the virtual machine is off and then you could either find your VMDK, right click it and map it or from the VMware Workstation Manager you could go to map virtual disk and just, you know, go from there and once you have it here and you want to disconnect it, just simply go back there and click on disconnect. So now what happens if we try and start this virtual machine with a map drive? Let's find out. See, it's going to tell you that it can't start because you have this mapped. So you can't have the VM running when you're mapped to this virtual disk. So we're going to go back here. Disconnect, force it, and then we should be able to start it. Yep. 
Okay, just like that. So anyway, so yeah, pretty simple to do this kind of cool feature. Unfortunately, you can't map it while the virtual machine is running. So if that's the case, if you need to um, copy files while it's running, you could use the shared folders option for that. And we have a video on that. I'll put a link to that in the description and that way you could check that out as well. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.